As the passengers were set free on Tuesday in Larnaca, the Cypriot government announced the kidnapper Seyfeddin Mustafa did not carry explosives on board as he had earlier claimed. Positive news for Egyptian officials who have been revamping airport security procedures. The airport security measures have improved very much lately and exceeded those of major international airports. Passengers are even complaining of too many checkpoints in the airport. You get thoroughly checked five times before reaching the plane. The Egyptian government issued a statement praising the Cypriot government for how it dealt with this crisis. It also commended the actions of the Egypt air crew members. Yet this drama has its repercussions. A Russian passenger jet was downed over Sinai by a bomb claimed by ISIL last October. This incident damaged the all-important tourism industry in Egypt. And the Russian government announced amidst this crisis that the resumption of flights to Egypt has been suspended indefinitely, casting more doubt on the country's tourism recovery. Relations with Russia are very good and Putin wants the return of tourists, but unless the tourists themselves feel safe, they will not return. The latest decision by Russia to suspend flights indefinitely is proof that the incident has had its effects. And so the government has a tougher mountain to climb now to convince foreigners that it's still safe to visit the country. Yes, Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.